here at Retro Game Con 2016, day number two. We're coming down the home stretch. My name is Tio, and with me might be what proves to be my favorite guest ever, because this is someone whom I have admired on the Twitter sphere for a while now. Ever since that I was hanging out at a birthday party at a club, and I was bored because I didn't know anybody. And then this picture of a girl in a weird Sonic cosplay comes oh, up. Oh, yeah. Like, the Sonic one was so bad. She's cool. I like her. I'm going to follow her. And it's been, it's been just wonderful ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, from Invisible Cat Patrol, it's Jannard. That's me. How you doing, Jannard? I'm good. Having fun so far, Retro yeah, GameCon? Yeah, I am. This has been pretty wild. I love it. It's so much fun. I mean, the people here have been great. Yeah. The booths have been great. And the people who haven't been great have been kicked out. So yeah, kudos yeah. to the con. Nice, I, heard, I, heard nice. the, I heard there was some kind of gambling thing going on that was like hidden, like mask or veiled I mean, gambling. It wasn't like a CSGO thing or anything. It was more like they were telling you to purchase a square to win a prize or something. It was like basic carny shit. I mean, I'm always into, like, sketchy gambling, but <laughs> maybe here's not I, the place for that. I, I don't knows? think I want to hear those stories coming <laughs> from you. But anyway, you're here on my show. That's amazing. That's Yay, I'm so excited to finally meet you. Yeah, same here. Yeah. And we were we were uh, at the panel yesterday. We did a panel together yeah. with Kevin from Buffalo Pinball and Shane from Rerez, and we had a good time there. Yeah. If you haven't watched it already, if it's up by now, you should watch it. And now we're going to sit down and we're going to play a game of Jannard's Choice. And that game is... Pole Position. Pole Position. The original arcade. And we're going to go back to this little plug and play dealie. Now, can you guess how you steer? Um, I'm yeah. sure you can read I'm it. Gonna, I haven't played on one of these because I played it like on my computer all sketchily or in an arcade. But yeah, I, I see the... I see the setup here. Yeah, you get to twist the controller. Yeah, it sounds In order crazy. to steer. Like, okay, yeah, and I, think I, I got that. If I'm not mistaken, I think A is accelerator. Okay, cool. So cool. we'll give that a try. Are wow. you ready? Oh, yeah, of course I am. Jannard and Tio, together at last, to play video games at Retro Game Con. Does it get any better than this? I'm sure somewhere on the right side of the screen where they have recommended videos to watch, the answer is yes. There are probably are better things, but not for us. Not today, not right now. Let's do pole position. Yay! Here we go. Prepare to qualify. Let's see how this goes. Wow. What? It's just, it's so slow. Compared. This was my game in like the oh, I fifth think grade. To, I think one of the buttons helps you it's shift. okay. I love, I love dying. <laughs> my favorite part. Don't you have there to shift go. gears? Like You know, I I don't know. Like by like pressing up or down on the joystick? I was a fifth grader, I was unaware of how to drive. Oh no oh, explosion. But I really like the explosions. I really like <laughs> the colors. We have a great soundtrack to this in the background. We do, honestly. I love that they actually like play music here at Retro Game Con because I've been to like other conventions where it's just like silent in the vendors' room. It's terribly yeah. awkward. S silent cons make no sense. Yeah. Plus, the music here is actually pretty good, and they have some like good musical performers downstairs too, which is yeah, wild. they do. I didn't get a chance to go like personally see any. Even though I did go to the after party last night. Oh, and, I did? Uh, oh, I wish I made that. And Chipocrit just decided to set up shop there at the bar That's and do his thing. That's pretty sick, honestly. What's that? That's pretty sick. I wish yeah. I went. And for those of you watching who don't know who Chipocrit is, uh, he, he basically does his DJ sets using actual Game Boys that he has special modded software put into. And it's really cool. It was awesome. It was a great time. And all day up here at the DJ stage is uh, DJ Silence, who works as, also as a staff member for Retro Game Con, and he's just been doing a fantastic job. I tried to yeah, get him honestly. on the show, but it just our schedules didn't sync up. But he's a cool guy too. So shout out to DJ Silence, shout out to Chipocrit, and all the other great musicians that. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to see. Sorry, yeah, guys. Yeah, the one I saw downstairs, it was, like, really, really looking like she was having a lot of fun and a good time with everyone. 
Her name was Samus, and she was like yeah. super talented. Samus is really good. Uh, yeah. She was here last year. Oh, she was? Nice, yeah. nice. I don't know how I didn't hear about this last year, but I'm happy I'm here I now. Know. And I'll probably come next year. It's not like I didn't plug the hell out of it on social media. I know. What was I doing last November? I don't even know. Oh, I remember. Okay, I, yeah. I wasn't even in this country last year, so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to say, like, I was, I was going through a dark time. Oh, well, yeah, a dark time in the Virgin Islands. The dark ages. <laughs> I did that one on purpose. I just, I really like explosions. <laughs> Even though, like, somehow the explosion is smaller than your car. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It, yeah. You imploded. I did. I did. Ah, right, uh, game over. Try. Yeah, you see if you can figure better. out how to do the gear shift thing. Yeah, I kind of like attempted pulling back, but I wasn't sure if I did it right. I think you like go either down or up on this joystick. We'll, we'll see. Da, da. Oh, okay, it's B. So you kind of have to like. Ah! Oh yeah, dirt. I I told you how to twist it, and then I didn't twist it. It's okay, it's okay. I really like pole position because you can just drive badly and it's still fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, this and Dick Dug were my favorite games in the fifth grade, and I don't even know why I like Dick Dug, because I play it now and I'm like... Dick Dug's still amazing. Yeah. Even though it's like, I don't know, weird and kind of creepy, I was like, they're cute little animals, and you're just going to pump them full of air until they explode. Yeah, maybe it was the cute animals aspect that sucked me in the fifth grade, but, yeah. I think for me it was just a fun game, it had bright, pretty colors. Yeah. And that's all I needed. Uh, I almost died. I almost died. That's the fun part. Oh my gosh, you got to see another car. I didn't get to see another car. <laughs> oh man, there's so many more. There you thought are. you were alone on this track. <laughs> the squad. Pulseception. Oh, there we go. I mean, it would it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a game without me dying. Right. That's the best part. The tiny explosion. Game, game, game. Did I even be, come close to your score? I have no clue. I wasn't even looking at the score. Just two All right, we'll do it. Actually, you know what? You want to switch to Dig Dug? Yeah, yeah, I do. Let's do it. Let's see this Dig Dug. Now, oh, oh, there, there it is. Was. Boom. All right, we'll let you start. Oh, boy. Yeah, the controls on pole position are weird because it's like yeah, it's yeah. sticking two buttons. One of the buttons is gas and the other one is gear shift. And it's just like, oh, you're playing a game of Twister with your own hands. I'm ready. Ready. Okay, I think I remember what I'm... I'm supposed to free all these dudes, right? No, you're supposed to blow them up. Ah, uh, no. I wanted to free them. <laughs> I haven't touched this game in, like, 17 years, so... I would. I just thought they were my friends in the fifth grade. They should be. Honestly, maybe like, that's... what the hell? I'm not good at anything. You, you gotta shoot them with a the hose, and then once you're connected, you have to keep hitting the okay, button. Okay, okay, okay. Until I they can blow do this. up. Okay. Uh-oh, I dodged a bullet there. No. Uh, uh. We were friends. I trusted him. <laughs> <laughs> Want to give it one more try? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And then, and then you can show me how it's done. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Get ready. I'm going to go for that dude this time. Also, you can like trick them into walking under a falling rock, which is always a fun part and it gives you extra bonus points. Uh -oh, uh -oh. oh no. Uh, yeah, they also become ghosts and come after you. Oh no, the walls. they teamed up on me. The dirt walls. It's okay. I, I'm still friends with them. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Even though half of them are dead in your hand. <laughs> still friends. I'm coming for you. It's all about the love. L U V. Oh no, okay. No, yeah, the leaving. last one always tries to run away. Wait, when, where do you When will he return from war? Oh, oh there okay. he is. No. 
was like, did the screen cut off? Here, no. You wanna, you wanna, uh, okay. You wanna jump in here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, see how here far I get on one life. Or how many life? Two lives? I probably, I, yeah, All I right, killed us. Here we go. Here we go. This guy's gonna chase me. Oh. Uh, almost had him. I tried to kill him the most humane way, humane way possible. Kill them as they run for daylight. It's so violent it. in a weird, cute way. Yeah. Like, I don't know. This this game play like toys with my head and my psyche. I'm just impressed at how efficient this guy is with it with an air pump. Honestly, one, like, like it's one of those bicycle handle air pumps. Right. He throws the hose at you so with such velocity that it sticks in you and then he just whips out the pump and goes to town. Did this look inappropriate? No? Okay. I, no. I, I got away with that one. And oh crush. man, rest in peace. <laughs> ah, I gotta get pumping quick. Okay. He's gonna come after me. No, he didn't fall for that. Do I want the cucumber or do I want victory? Is that a cucumber? All right. Oh, okay. He was dumb enough to come my way. What a weird vegetable to put in a game. Just here's a <laughs> cucumber for you. To oh my go. god, that was like that was a few different games. There's a game called Ladybug where like the the bonus fruits were all these different types of vegetables. All right. I guess I like. Well, we want to do what Pac-Man's doing, but we don't want to get sued by having just another strawberry in there. Why don't they just put like slices of pizza or like Mountain Dew and Doritos? That would that, that would really draw me in. <laughs> well, that wouldn't come until the '90s. You remember how when they ported uh, <laughs> Extreme Dig Dug? <laughs> yeah. Remember how like the Ninja Turtles arcade was ported to the NES and it was brought to you by Pizza Hut? I I don't, but that sounds great. Honestly, <laughs> like if it if was, we can mix like, like pizza and ah, turtles crap. in any more ways, let's do it. Well, the arcade game wasn't sponsored. Uh, by anybody, but then the Nintendo version not only had Pizza Hut logos in the game, like on the signs that fell on the street level, but it also had like a coupon. Whoa! If, if anyone who has a CIB copy of Turtles um, will probably still have the unused Pizza yeah. Hut coupon. Yeah. So if anybody their... has one of those, please get me sick deals on pizza. <laughs> yeah. Although that's weird because in the movie the turtles were like eating dominoes. Even so though you I, think they wouldn't want to like betray their dominoes friendship there. Well, I mean that's I mean that's up to Konami at that point. Ah, I'm dead. But yeah, like uh, I think the coupon expired like December '92 or something. Uh, like that. Yeah, it is long dead. All right, what, what, what? to honor my friend, it'll forever be. On the memory chip of this hardware. Wow. You want Jen or Jim? Jim sounds good. Jim? Jim. Yeah, that's me. Truly, yeah. truly outrageous. Fucking right. <laughs> Please do not touch. Okay. Yeah. See, now he's winking at me. Hey! Wow. <laughs> and now, that. see, like, if you just saw that, who would you think is the bad guy in this right? game? Right? The guy on the left's like, curse you, I'll I know. get you. No, he's the good guy. He looks very angry. The cutesy animals are the bad guy. Yeah. Go figure. Did you have fun? I did, I did. I I'm really glad. Yay. Okay. And of course, I didn't even point out, she's dressed as Blaze today from Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage which 2 is, is great. my favorite game ever. And I don't know why I've never cosplayed her before because, like, seems simple enough. It was obvious. Right? Yeah, when it came to me, I was like, this is what I should have been my whole life, this Blaze. Fighting gloves, a headband, and a red dress. You're set. I tried. <laughs> Orange blaze burst. Yeah. Boom. There. I just I just gave you your new. Uh, Orange blaze burst. I know. Twitter, Twitter username. Twitter name of the day. Yeah. There you go. I'm really glad you stopped by. I'm glad. It was Excellent. so much fun. We only have a few sessions left. Uh, maybe two or three. Uh, actually, Jen's boyfriend Cody is yeah. going to be coming up very soon. Yeah, if not next, yeah. I don't. I don't even know. Okay, so uh, we'll get to him and others, but until then, for Jen, I'm T.O., 
Bye. Bye.